In August 2017, Hurricane Harvey made landfall in southeast Texas, dumping more than a meter and a half of water on the Houston area in four days. It was the wettest hurricane in U.S. history, causing extensive flooding and $125 billion in damage. So, after the storm, where did all of that water go? The Earth's crust is surprisingly elastic. It actually sinks under the immense weight of new water, like what was released by Harvey. So it kind of behaves like a mattress in a way. So if I was to sit down on a mattress, I would I would depress that mattress with, um, just because of my weight, right? And so I can measure my own weight based on how much I depress that mattress. To track the water, researchers used GPS satellites to measure fluctuations in elevation of the Earth's crust, subsidence down, and uplift up. And so you could use that little measuring stick or the kind of the the amount of depression to figure out the weight of the water. The land around Houston sank as much as 20 millimeters during Hurricane Harvey, with a clear pattern left in the crust that moved across the Gulf Coast for seven days, consistent with Harvey's position. The GPS not only allows us to figure out where that water is and how much it occurs, but then allows us to track how it dissipates, how quickly it dissipates, how much dissipates. In the eight days following Harvey's landfall, 30% of the stormwater was stored on land as standing water. 60% of the stormwater immediately drained into the ocean in Galveston Bay, and the remaining 10% was lost to evaporation. It took five full weeks for the water stored on land to dissipate through evaporation or groundwater runoff. Okay, we can do it for Harvey. That's easy because there was so much water, that weight was so large, that depression that mattress is gonna be really easy to see in the data. So the next step is to say, okay, what about other smaller, more frequent hurricanes that have less water? Could we apply the same type of analysis? The ability to track daily changes in the movement of water during extreme events can help flood managers better prepare for storms, which will strike with increased frequency and ferocity as global warming causes the ocean's temperatures to rise. If we have any hope of weathering these future storms, we must remember that, as my mom always says, failure to plan is planning to fail.